Hello and welcome to the E-Ink Pads maintenance app walkthrough. Notice on the left you'll see that it we this app does support Remarkable Paper Pro, Remarkable 1, and Remarkable 2, and also runs on Mac and Windows. So um, let's begin. Notice on the top of the app you'll see a version number. So if you have any issues connecting and you reach out to us at support at einkpads.com, make sure you reference this number here so that we know what version of the app that you're running. Okay? We're available 24 hours a day, um, Monday through um, Friday, but we're also available on the weekends. If you go to our website at einkpads.com and reach out with the chat um, button on the right, also, uh, feel free to subscribe on our videos. We have a YouTube channel. e -Ink Pads is our, our, our uh, username. So go ahead and check out all of the, the videos that um, if you want to enhance your Remarkable tablet, that's where you go or enhance your e -Ink Pad because we do actually have uh, videos about other things as well, about Boogs, about Supernote. We're actually going to be creating more content for you. If you're not just a Remarkable user and you have, let's say you have a Supernote tablet, or a scribe, even any type of ink pad um, uh, tablet, uh, you can go there and learn more. Anyway, let's get into the video. <clears throat> On the right, uh, you'll notice that you're presented with four fields. Uh, the first field is is dedicated to your USB address. Okay, so if I delete this here, um, when you first start it, you notice that it's filled in already. That's because I connected before. If, if you purchase this and you download it for the first time, these fields will be blank. The first field will probably be filled in with the 10.11.99.1 because this is always the same when you have a USB connection. This IP address will be the same. Now, you're probably wondering, where do I find my IP addresses? Well, if you're on the Remarkable 1, 2, and... Um, Pro, they're a little bit different. ARM 1 and ARM 2, you do not have to enable developer mode. You can go into your settings under help about copyright and licensing, and it's in a body of text on the right. However, you're running Remar Remarkable Paper Pro, you have to enable developer mode or these this information will not show up. Okay, so I'm going to show it here. Usually it looks like this. It won't be your passcode. That's different. Your passcode is really it's, it's different. It's like uh, your passcode is is there if you are in the coffee shop, you're at work, um, you're at a football game, wherever you're a tablet, you have your tablet, you're on the beach and you set it aside, go get a drink and you don't want someone accessing your your uh, your personal information. That passcode will actually go to a screen. So you have to enter in that passcode. That's not that's not the password. The password is related to SSH, which is um, uh, the communication, the way that we communicate with your tablet, the way Remarkable subscribes that if you, if you want to transfer files onto your tablet, you have to use that. You don't really need to know about that. It's probably too much information, but everything is handled by us behind the scenes. Now, the second field, let's go back in the, into here. You notice that they're the same, okay? That's because I do not have a Wi-Fi connection. If you put, if you duplicate the USB connection, it will let you get to the next screen. However, if you do not have a Wi-Fi connection and you have it blank, it, it may, depending on the version that you're running, it may uh, prevent you to connect. So let's just put both here and I'm going to hide my password. Your username will always be root. This never changes. Um, this is um, basically it runs on your your remarkable tablet runs off of uh, a version. It's kind of like Linux ish type operating system. And root root is just saying that uh, it's the admin password to your tablet. I mean username to your tablet. So let's go ahead and hit connect. And then once you're in, uh, you're presented with eight buttons. Um, I'm going to kind of walk through these buttons and, and tell you what they need and what they do. This one, basically, um, if you push this, it's going to show a green button because it's saying, yeah, okay, uh, the IP addresses that are entered, entered in can connect. So it's saying, okay, um, if there's a problem and you're trying to troubleshoot your tablet, you can go and use this app and say, okay, I do have a, a stable USB connection and a Wi-Fi connection, so why can I connect? Um, then we have this option here that um, <clears throat> will, will, will also check your Wi-Fi connection. Okay, that's good. It, 
it since I put um, both IP addresses and they're both the same and they're the, related to the USB, I'm kind of hacking this, bypassing that, and it's still saying that I do have a, a solid USB. But if the if the IP address were different before, if I had a Wi-Fi address in there, it would check to make sure that that IP address is actually uh, connected. Okay, if my tablet is actually connected via Wi-Fi. So now let's get on to the next one. So this one right here is um, what it will do is it will clean your tablet. So as you use it over time, what happens is on your tablet, Remarkable saves uh, database information so that it runs smoothly. It, it basically is like, it's kind of like um, RAM. I'm going to throw it out. It's a random ac access memory is how the computer works. Um, it's like short term memory, basically. So if the computer or the tablet knows if you open up, let's say you open up the same, you open up a notebook and you want it, it's always starting off on, on page one. The tablet stores that information as you're interacting with it and it, it actually will, over time, it takes space from your, from your actual notebooks. So you can go ahead and delete this and it doesn't affect anything. It's just, you'll just notice that you gain some space um, on your tablet if you're, if you're needing some space for your notebooks. This one right here actually will. Now this one, this button is pretty important. So anyone who uses custom templates have noticed um, when they have automatic firmware update settings on their tablet that all of a sudden your tablet updates and boom, you're like, whoa, where's my, where's my templates that I had before? You know, when I open this up, I'm in a meeting and I need this information. It's blank. Well, that's because when you did firmware update, Remarkable wiped out your settings, okay? So if you click this button, what it will do, it will restore all of your um, templates that you installed with our apps, your screens, whatever. So I click this and there it goes. It, it restored my templates. It actually only restores your templates here, I'm sorry. So if you, if you click this button here, what it does is, let's say you add a, a template and um, you know it, it, it was wrong. It was a wrong template. You just drop. You know you did it manually, or let's just say um, you you upload it outside of our apps, and that file is just sitting on your tablet, and you want to delete it. Well, if you click this, it will map. It will use. It will only um, fix all of the templates that are assigned on your tablet that are running. It'll clean up all the other extra files that should not exist if you made a mistake and uploaded manually um, a file on, onto your tablet without using our apps and you want to clean it back to where it was, you click this button, okay? Now, this one right here is for Remarkable Pro users. Um, by default, when you buy your tablet, um, Remarkable Pro, they do not support um, connections via Wi-Fi. So this button right here will, will enable your connection so you can actually connect and transfer templates over Wi-Fi. Okay, hope that makes sense. Um, so if you click this, it, it's now enabled my tablet to actually connect via Wi-Fi. So now I can add templates over Wi-Fi. I can do everything over Wi-Fi with our apps. Okay, so this one right here. So let's just say um, you uh, you have you have a bunch of templates on there from the past and it was pointed to EP, an EP tablet or a custom t um, um, category on your, on, your, on your tablet. Well, we don't, now with the new Remarkable um, firmware updates, they don't support um, having extra categories, okay? So you have to be, um, have to add a template in the categories that are provided, okay? So the, what this button does, is it will put it in the life organized category. So all of your templates that you had custom, it will move them all to the life organized category. This is good if you have a, a template that's not showing up on your tablet. Maybe it's just not, the, the, the category is not there anymore. So if you go into your templates, you'll notice template settings um, on your tablet. You'll notice that there are tabs on the top. Those are the categories that are mapped to the templates. That's the ones that Remarkable came up with. Okay, so if you click this, it will go through the database on your tablet and it will move all of your custom templates over to the life organized tablet uh, category. 
So this last button is pretty um, is probably been used the most. If you're in inside of here, you're making changes. After you make the changes, you have to restart your your tablet, or none of this stuff will will be populated or will be updated. So I'm going to go ahead and restart. It's now going to take a few seconds, but um, you can't see this, but it is actually restarting my tablet here. Okay, um, you can't really. It's kind of blurred out, but it's actually restarting my um, my tablet. And then now, okay, now it's restarted. Okay, so I'm gonna hit close. It's gonna go back to the login screen. Um, but this is pretty much all of the features of, of the support app. Trust me, you're gonna use the support app. If you do use custom changes, you'll probably wanna get it back to a fresh state, possibly at one point, or let's just say you uploaded a file that does not support, it's not supported by the Remarkable Tablet, you wanna get it off. The maintenance app is for you, okay? And also, if, you, if you've if you uploaded custom templates, you don't have any of our other apps, but you wanna restore the, the templates back into here, um, you can use the, the maintenance app. Uh, so many different benefits. We're always working on this. Um, we're adding new features. So if you actually purchase this app, you get lifetime updates for that particular version that you, that you purchased. And um, as Remarkable grows, as, as they add more features, we also stay on top of Remarkable and we'll be adding new features to this to make your Remarkable enhance the Remarkable and keep it running the way it needs to when you first made your purchase. Well, thank you so much for, for using our apps and we really appreciate the community and all of the suggestions that we receive. We actually do listen to people. Um, unlike other companies out there, we do listen to you and we will actually, if you have a problem with our app, feel free to let us know. We're, we're with you. We're not a company that's just about money. We're, we're actually a company that actually uses the Remarkable Tablet and we want to actually make the experience better because we are Remarkable users ourselves. Thank you so much for using our apps again and have a wonderful day.